Peace for Ukraine or Ukraine now. Russia, just go home. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. We did a film called The Game Changers, which is about plant-based super athletes. There was an uptick of interest in plant-based diets of about 350%. The first 30 days that film was on Netflix. Luis Sahoyos, Vegan, Inspiring Social Change Through Film, Part 1 of 2. Continue watching to find out more. Vegan, the true crown of creation. Gunashish means thank you in the traditional language of Klinkit. I'm Ethel. The people of Klinkit territories wish your days to shine brightly and be filled with heaven's grace. Welcome to our show, Louis Sehoyos, vegan. Inspiring Social Change Through Film, Part 1 of 2. My name is Luis Sahoyas. I'm the executive director of an organization called the Oceanic Preservation Society, and we do films and photographs to try to scale social change. Luis Sahoyos and his team are some of the most dedicated people on the planet when it comes to preserving wildlife through innovative media methods as they go to the ends of the earth to uncover injustice for all animal people. Their powerful medium of film and photography takes the observer to places rarely seen to expose the myths and truths of the many industries negatively affecting our planet. Uh, we've done four films. Uh, the Cove is probably our, you know, the most recognizable. It's about dolphin hunting in Japan. And it's, you know, one of the most award-winning documentaries in history. But more importantly, it helped create social change in Japan, where they're, they're killing about 20,000 and 23,000 dolphins and porpoises a year. When we started that film, and now they're killing about 1,600. So it's down like 93% since the film came out. We did a film called Racing Extinction, which is about the Anthropocene, the extinction crisis that we're going through right now. And that film helped inspire laws that protect some of the most endangered species in the world. We did a film called The Game Changers, which is about plant-based super athletes. There was an uptick of interest in plant-based diets of about 350%. The first 30 days that film was on Netflix. And I'm, I'm giving you an idea that it's, they're successful films, but also with social change. That's what we're the key that we're interested in. Then we did a film on the Dalai Lama and Desmond Tutu called Mission Joy, which is about how to find more joy in a world full of so much sorrow. It's not how long we live. It's how we live. Rachel. Be vegan. Make, make peace. peace. Do, Do good, good deed. deed. That's, That's all life needs. Louis Sehoyos, 
and his talented team created these award-winning documentary-style films using the truth as the catalyst to inspire change. When people start seeing firsthand what is happening behind the false marketing, the footage speaks for itself as industries are exposed based on lies created by profit-makers' greed. These unsustainable methods are destroying habitats, animal people, the environment, and the lives of everyday people who are dragged down into a vicious circle of deceit and dirty money. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Latvia is one of them. Latvia, Section 230 of the Criminal Law In Latvia, the cruel treatments of animal people can be punished by a fine or up to five years incarceration. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses, no more hurting, no more murdering them to eat, to lab test, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. Louis Sehoyos and the members of Oceanic Preservation Society, or OPS, have changed how documentaries are made. With their creative and altruistic mindsets, they can get people to connect to the suffering of animal people in a unique way. So, you know, we try to not just create the awareness with the films that we do, but we try to create the action. That's why it's important to me. It's like, you know, we, we get a lot of, you know, accolades and awards. And by the way, it's like, you know, I get uh, too much of it uh, directed to me. Just, we have a great team of people, you know, that, that work on this. We have great cinematographers. We have great writers, producers. So hundreds of people that you need to, to create these films. I'm just the, you know, the, the leader, the director. But, you know, it's this whole organization of people, like-minded people behind us that really, you know, make it all happen. It's, it's, it's always the, the team. There's been five major extinctions in the history of the planet. This may be the sixth. When you're talking about losing all of nature, it's not a spectator sport anymore. Everybody has to become active somehow. The idea is to inspire people. Imagery is very powerful. If you can reach people, you can change them. We can make this happen. We need people to understand it's worth doing. People that have been in the business that don't even bother. But better to light one candle than curse the darkness. There's so many people who sit back and say we're screwed. But you know what? That one candle, maybe someone else with a candle will find you. And I think that's where movements have started. God heard that you love Herm. Now prove it. Be vegan. Charitable viewers, let us take a moment to say a prayer for the people who put their safety, comfort, and well-being on the line for the innocent animal people in the heartless meat and dairy industries. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. We pray for Ukraine or Ukraine. Welcome back to today's show. Louis Sehoyos, Vegan, Inspiring Social Change Through Film, Part 1 of 2. 
Louis Sahoyos was not always vegan, but started his transition when he was on assignment to write a story for a magazine and was exposed to the ugly truth behind slaughterhouse wars. In 1986, I went to a slaughterhouse because I was working for Fortune magazine at the time. They wanted me to do a story on the biggest independently owned cattle ranches in America. And one was one of the cattle ranches was so big that they had their own slaughterhouse. And I spent several hours at a slaughterhouse. And they, the way they, they kill a cow back then is they put a, what's called a captive bolt to the brain. It's like a, a pneumatic gun that shoots a, a spike into the head. And it's supposed to kill the cow instantly. Then they hang them up upside down and they, they, they strip their hides off. And they um, it goes around in a conveyor belt. But one of the cows wasn't killed. And so they stripped it off, and it's as it's going around, and they're carving pieces of it off. It's looking at me. It's following me with its eyes, turning its head. And I thought, it's still alive, and I'm part of this. I'm part of that that culture that is, you know, unaware that this horror is going on. We know in the back of our mind it's happening, but when you see it, you can't unsee it. So in 1986, I decided to stop eating animals that walk. I I felt like I. I still needed to eat animals, so I ate fish. I thought, well, fish are less sentient. Then when I went to Japan, when we were doing the Cove, one of the last things we do in that movie is we take a hair sample of the deputy minister of fisheries, uh, Hideki Morinuki, and to see how much, you could tell either by a, doing a blood sample or a hair sample how much mercury uh, a person has. So we asked him if we could do a hair sample so we could test for mercury. He said, sure. And then I thought, well, you know, I eat a lot of fish too. So I put a, a hair sample of mine you know, in alongside of his, you know, separate sample. And the scientists came back with the, after they sampled both of our hair samples and said, who is this person? You know, he sh you should tell him to, to stop, you know, he's, he should, you know, he has eight times more. This is the, the, the deputy minister of fisheries for Japan. He said he has eight times more. That's the levels con that's considered too high. He said, but the other sample you have is 44 times higher. That's mine. And so, and I'd seen what happens to the hair sample, to the, the brains of people that have, um, in Japan, there's minim, it's called Minamata's disease, but it's not a disease, it's actually a company, Chiso Minamata, that was intentionally putting mercury into the bay and is infecting the, the animals and the, and the children and adults. Um, and I could see that it's, it's, you don't want that being done to your brain. It makes it into like Swiss cheese. It just, and I realized I, I had to stop eating all animals. There are 211 countries and regions which have animal people protection laws. Obey the law of your country. No more animal people slaughterhouses. No more hurting. No more murdering them to eat, to lab tests, or for any reason at all. Be vegan. Make peace. So be it. We are so grateful to you, Louis Sehoyos, and the courageous crews of the Oceanic Preservation Society, or OPS, for realizing the need to stop consuming animal people and using your talent for filmmaking to make a positive difference in our world. May your work continue to shift the minds of millions more in heaven's grace. For more information on Oceanic Preservation Society, or OPS, please visit opsociety.org. Today, as an offering to Swami, give up meat-eating, consuming liquor, and smoking. By renouncing these three, you will benefit yourselves as well as society and the nation. Sri Satya Sai Baba, Vegetarian. Proactive viewers, thank you for your company today. Please join us again on Tuesday, August 1st, for Louis Sehoyos, Vegan, Inspiring Social Change Through Film, Part 2 of 2. Coming up next is Unconditional Help and Love is the Answer, Part 8 of 12. On Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May we experience world vegan soon, so that all lives can prosper in peace and harmony. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, 
haven't got speed. Russia, go home. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash VEG. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique VEG. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada VEG. Наши программы предлагают много языков. Пожалуйста, посмотрите suprememastertv.com, касайтесь ташкедо и suprememastertv.com, касайтесь tv.eg.